Why won't you switch on? Silly light. on him, Elvis. I'm coming, Charlie! <laughs> Help me! Can't hold on! Gotcha! That was close. You really should clip yourself on for safety in the future, Charlie. Thanks, Sam. I will. But it's not over yet. If we don't get this lighthouse working, the ships out there could run aground in this storm. I've got an idea. Sam to Elvis, keep Jupiter's lights flashing. Shine the headlights out to sea to warn the ships until we can get the lighthouse going. There are a lot of people depending on us. OK, Sam. The light's through here, Sam. I just can't get it to work. Hand me that screwdriver, Charlie. See the screen wire? Yes! Hooray! Nice one, Sam! Woo! Wonderful, Sam! Thank you so much! And, of course, I remember the look on his face as he climbed back into the fire engine. It gives me great pleasure to perform this duty. It's not often in Who's the that line. standing next to Station Officer Steele? That's Chief Fire Officer Boyce. He's come from Newtown to give out a medal. My dad it's told me. Great service. It's one month since the night of the great storm, a night when one fireman performed an act of selfless bravery above and beyond the call of duty. Hear, hear. So, would our hero please step forward? Not you, Cridlington! 
Fireman Sam! <laughs> oh, sorry, sir. Don't worry, Elvis. You'll get yours one day. It gives me great pleasure in presenting you with the Medal of Outstanding Bravery. Sam, you are a credit to the service. Yeah, that's enough of that. Oh. Uh, thank you, sir. But it's really just part of the job. And I couldn't have done it without the rest of the team. Well said, Sam. Does that mean I can have a medal too? No, Cridlington. It means it's time for you to put the kettle on. <laughs> yes. Would you care for a cup of tea, Sam? Thanks, Bromwyn. <laughs> I don't know why they want a wind turbine fitted up here. There isn't a breath of wind. Ah, but there's a storm on the way. I can always tell when my seaweed gets damp. Uh, all right, you are. Uh, well, I've never known it, so ho! Yes, Chief Fire Officer Boyce and myself read the same fire academy, you know. So why aren't you a Chief Fire Officer then, sir? Was he just better than you? <laughs> Certainly not. I just like to be there. The action is on the front line. Hmm, I wonder what they're talking about. Sam, I've a little proposition for you. You are just the man I need to lead the new Rapid Response Fire Unit in Newtown. What? Lead? Like a station officer? Why, yes. In fact, I think you can make Chief Fire Officer one day, Sam. Just like me. Uh, I don't know what to say, sir. Say nothing. Just sign here. <coughs> oh! <laughs> Mike Flood's fallen off the boathouse roof into the harbour. Oh, silly chap. Sorry, sir. Sam, Mike Flood's fallen off the boathouse roof into the harbour. Sounds like a job for Neptune, sir. You're right. Penny, you'd better get going. On my way, sir. Sam, you'd better go too. What's that you've got there, Sam? I I'll tell you later, Penny. Ooh, that's some fireman you've got there, Steel. Yes, sir. We in Pontypandy are very proud of him. to stay afloat for much longer. Ready, Sam. Chips again? No. Oh. Oh. no. 
I've still got me tool belt on. <laughs> Whew, actually, it was quite refreshing taking a dip in this heat. It's been so hot these last few days. Well, thanks to you, I can get cracking with me other jobs. I've still got to fix that door on the lighthouse. <laughs> Well, don't go falling off that, will you? <laughs> Sam doesn't want to make a habit of collecting hero medals. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, bye! Well, come on then. What did Chief Fire Officer Boyce give you? He's offered me a station officer post in Newtown. Hey, nice one! In charge of your own station, eh? So, when are you going to let him know? I think he wants it signed at the end of the day. Oh, well, Ponty Pandy's going to miss you, Sam. Yes, and I'm going to miss Ponty Pandy. <laughs> Lovely day again, Sam. I'm taking the Ponty Pandy pioneers camping in the forest. Sounds great, Trevor. Uh, but I'm afraid we can't have any campfires. The forest is so dry, a single spark could cause a big fire. You can count on me, Sam. I used to be a Boy Scout, you know. Bye! Ah. Oh, thanks for inviting me on the camping trip, Auntie Dillis. Oh, it's my pleasure, Derek. It'll be fun for Norman to have his cousin with him. No, have we got everything? Trevor will be here any second. Don't worry, Auntie Dillis. The Ponty Pandy pioneers are always prepared. <laughs> are you sure we need to take air freshener, ma'am? Oh, yes. You get a lot of nasty smells in the forest. And that's just from you kids. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Look at all these sandwiches. Anyone would think we were going camping for a week. <laughs> Morning, pioneers. Your carriage awaits. Are you moving house, Dillis? And what do you mean by that, Trevor Evans? I mean we are spending 24 hours in the forest with only our natural instinct for survival to get us through. <laughs> and 300 sandwiches. <laughs> I'm sorry, Derek, but today the Ponty Pandy Pioneers are going for their survival badge. So, no sandwiches. Pardon? Eh? And no mobile phones either, Dillis. What? But what about my afternoon gossip with Bronwyn? It can wait. Come on, pioneers. Let's move out. What are you doing with those sausages? Shh! There's no way I'm eating bugs and berries. Ugh. I want proper food in that forest. Keep up, pioneers! <laughs> Come on, you two, hurry up! Sorry, Trevor, I, uh, I had to tie my shoelaces. Oh, uh, me too. Hmm, no Mandy. Maybe she's had second thoughts. Oh, you must be right, Dillis. After all, this camping trip is no picnic. <laughs> and whose fault is that? No, no, Norman. I'm sure Trevor knows what he's doing. That's right, Dillis. Trevor's at the controls. <laughs> Who's for the sing song then? now. Oh, sorry, Mandy. Your dad's been so busy, he must have forgotten to fix the car. Dad's always too busy fixing things for other people. You can still join the Ponty Pandy Pioneers, love. How? We can find them on foot. It's ages since we spent some quality time together, Mandy. 
Yes. Yes, it is. Come on, Mum. Yes, so I had to fight that raging fire single-handed. <gasps> With just the one hand. Wow. Isn't that right, Steel? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. Uh, now, if you don't mind, I've got some work to do. Um, it's funny, sir, but Station Officer Steel never really tells us about his early days as a fireman. Lad, Station Officer Steele is possibly the bravest man I have ever met. Really? Uh, uh, really? He could even have made Deputy Chief Fire Officer, but he wanted to stay here and serve Ponty Pandy. So he won medals and things? Oh, oh yes. Station Officer Steele is a hero. This medal goes to young Fireman Steel. Great days. It all seems so long ago. Sam, Sam, I need a quick word. Uh, I'm just going to talk with Station Officer Steel in his office, sir. Oh, but... <clears throat> yes, Sam. Uh, sir. I think we need to put some warning signs up at the forest. It's so hot and dry, just one spark and it could go up in flames. Oh, yes. Uh, that's a good... Great idea, Sam. Uh, you can never be too careful. Uh, and I was wondering if Tom Thomas should do a sweep of the forest in his helicopter, just to check for fire. Oh, I like your thinking, Sam. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, sirs. Um... Oh, t Sam... Have you got anything for me yet? Uh, not quite, sir. Um, I'd uh, better be going. Hey! Oh, God! Oh, it's a hot day for all this. Oh. I'm not sleeping in that. Oh, just a few teething problems. I'll have it up in no time. Come on. Get in there. There. Oh, of course, we should all be making our own shelters from branches and leaves. Oh. Let's just stick to the tents, eh, Trevor? Nice one, Mum. Ouch! Huh? Thanks, Dillis. Um, Mr Evans. What's up, James? Um, how will we get food? Traps. <laughs> and we can forage for berries. Look, I've got a book. Camping Rough for Rough Campers. There's even a section on how to pick berries and not get poisoned. Poisoned? Yes. Some berries may look good enough to eat, but can be dangerous. But with my book... We'll eat like kings, living off the fruits of the forest. We're going to eat creepy crawlies like on the telly. Oh. Huh. While Trevor's eating his snail and bungo berry pasties, we'll be sizzling these bangers over our campfire. <laughs> oh, can't wait. So, come on, Sam. What's your secret? Um, what do you mean? I mean, how do I get myself a medal like yours? I, how can I be a hero? Oh, uh, uh, there's no secret to it, Elvis. You see something that needs doing and you do it. And I certainly don't feel like a hero. What is it about you and Station Officer Steele? You both get medals and you don't want anything to do with them. I'd wear mine every day and night. I didn't know Station Officer Steel had a medal too. Yes, he's a hero. <laughs> but he doesn't like to talk about it.
think I should take this new job in New Town Radar? Oh, I miss you too, boy. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, not really this sort of day to be working. Well, the sooner I start, the sooner it's done. <laughs> Ponty Pandy really is the most beautiful place in the world. Ooh. Right, let's get this door fixed. Yes, oh, oh, where's my phone? Oh, I left it in the van. Oh, it's all right, get out these stairs again. One, two, fifteen hundred. Mmm, it's not like your dad not to answer. He's probably too busy helping someone else. Now, now, Mandy, it's your dad's job. But he doesn't have time for me anymore. We don't play football or go on picnics. It's just work, oh. work, work. Oh. Hello! Alan! There's somebody! Oh. Mike? Are you all right? You sound like you've been running. Me? me? No. Oh, no. No, I'm f fine. I'm fine. Now, Mike, you forgot to fix my car, so Mandy missed the bus to go on her Pioneer's camping trip. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm, so I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I forgot. So Mandy and I are going to catch up with the Pioneers on foot. That's... That's a great idea. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Let's oh. get one of those things for me belt. Hmm. Maybe your dad is working too hard. Now, once the rope trap is set like so, uh -huh. cover it with leaves oh. to camouflage it. Oh. Camouflage. Hmm. Um. Let's see it in action then. Oh. James, pass me a stick. Oh, um. Oh. Okay. Stand back. Ah! Oh. 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 Textbook trapping. Oh, 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 what a clever Trevor. So, what are you going to catch in your trap, Trevor? Oh, something big, I expect. Oh, I hope you are not thinking a trap in a deer. Trevor Evans, how could you? No, 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 no I never trap a deer. Oh, bunnies. Trevor, not the bunnies. I never said I'd trap bunnies. Oh, mice. I've got a pet mouse called Frank. I won't trap mice or bunnies or deer or... Bugs. Uh. Oh, well, maybe we'll find some blackberries. Besides, we can't cook. Sam asked me not to make a fire. The forest is too dry. <laughs> Mosquito. Uh, uh, thanks, Dillis. Oh, I'm hungry. Me too. When I give the word, we'll slip off and cook these bangers. Shh. Come to Sam. Tom to 
you, Sam. Do you read me? Over. Loud and clear, Tom. Anything to report from up there? It's all clear, Sam. Uh, there's no smoke. No fire. Thanks, Tom. OK, Elvis. I'm off to the station. I'll uh, stay here with Radar, Sam, just to be on the safe side. Good idea, Elvis. You better take the walkie-talkie. Bye, Radar. Enjoy your walkies. Oh! <laughs> Down, boy! Whoa! <sighs> What's this? You're leaving? I don't know, Elvis. I haven't made up my mind yet. I think you'd make a brilliant station officer. Thanks, Elvis. And just think, if you did go to Newtown, I'd get to drive Jupiter. <laughs> yes, uh, that would be a comfort, Elvis. Okay, Radar. Walkies. Oh. Get off! <laughs> Radar, no! <laughs> That's in my ear! <laughs> Didn't Trevor say we mustn't make a fire? You can't eat raw sausages, can you? Fair point. Right. It says here you can rub dry sticks together to make fire. Oh, like these? Exactly. Come on. Oh, come on. Light, will you? Oh, oh come on. Oh, keep going. They're smoking. My arms are aching. Where are you? Oh, bother. It's Mum. Quick. Norman! What are you pair up to sneaking off? Well, I'm waiting. Um, we were having a... You, you know what? No! I don't know what. Oh, uh, it's all the water we've been drinking, Auntie Dillis. Um, you know, um... Oh! You were having a tinkle. Come on, we're all helping Trevor find something to eat. Phew! Phew. That was a close one. Oh, what a waste of sausages. Don't worry, I've more in my backpack. Yes. This is going to need some specialist work. Now, where's me hammer? No! I left it on the van. Oh, here I go again. should be around here somewhere. Come on, Mandy. This <laughs> Help! Mandy, do something! Oh! I, I can't reach you! Here! Oh! Call your dad! I'm stuck! I can't get down! Oh. <sighs> right! <sighs> to work! Oh, it's 
sir. <laughs> Helen Flood caught in a man trap in the forest? Oh, oh that's a bit careless. If you don't mind, sir. Helen Flood, 14 man trap, location, the forest, quick as you can. This is a new one on me, Sam. That's what I love about this place, Penny. You never know what's going to happen next. Now let's rescue Helen. Sir, I've just remembered. Elvis is already at the forest. He might be able to get to Helen quicker. Good thinking, Sam. I'll get him on the walkie-talkie. Helen, caught in a man trap. You can count on me, Sam. Breda, we've got to help Helen flood. This could be our big moment. Oh. Looks like there could be a summer storm coming our way. Mm, there's a lot of rain off the coast. Shame it's too far away to dampen down the forest. We wouldn't want any fires. Ooh, now the sea might get up a bit too. I'd better warn Charlie. Oh, hello, Tom. A storm on the way? Oh, thanks for letting us know. Yes, I'll tell him. Bye. Hey, Charlie, I just got a call from Tom Thomas. He says there's a storm on the way. It could be right, Bronwyn. The air's getting heavy. And my seaweed's getting wet, too. I'll make sure I stay in the harbour, just to be on the safe side. Delicious. I do like a good blackberry. Yes. Who needs freshly cut sandwiches when you can have this? Can't we call out for a pizza? Someone decided we couldn't bring a mobile phone. I know how to lift those Camp Day Blues with a good old sing song. <laughs> <gasps> We are the Ponty Pandy Pioneers. We're bold and brave and have no time for fears. So give three very big and hearty cheers. I can't hear you. Oh, hooray. 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 For the good old Ponty Pandy Pioneers. Shh, shh, shh. Listen, everyone. Can you smell something? I think you mean, can you hear something? Sausages! <laughs> There's no need to take that tone. I can smell them cooking. That's impossible, Dillis. There's no campfires in the forest today, remember? Oh, oh, I'm so hungry. I must be illuminating. Right, let's see if it works. Oh, lovely action. Solid as a rock. <laughs> hey. Didn't Sam say no campfires in the forest? And didn't Helen and Mandy say that's where they were going? I better call for help. Open, will you? Great, the door stuck and my phone's on the outside. Oh no, I'm going to have to smash the door. Oh, ah, I wonder if I can use the lighthouse to get a message to Sam. Now, let's see if I can remember. Look, 
looks like there's a big storm coming. Yes. I think you Hey. Look at the lighthouse. Isn't that where Mike is? It's it's like some kind of signal. It's a code. O R E S T F I R T. What's a forest foot? <gasps> forest fire! Look! Oh, that's not good. We better call Station Officer Steel. Jupiter to base! Jupiter to base! Ah, damn! Chief Fire Officer Boyce here! Oh, uh, hello, sir. So, uh, uh, have you come to a decision yet? Uh, not yet, sir. I I'm sorry, but we have a situation here. Give it to me. Sam, it's steel. What's the problem? We can see smoke coming from the forest. <gasps> and where there's smoke, there's fire. <gasps> oh. Oh, uh, sound the alarm, yes. This is serious. We're going to need all the help we can get. If the wind is coming from that way, the fire will spread. And if we can't control it, it will reach... <gasps> oh! All the way to Ponty Pandy! Oh! Can you man the station, sir? My firemen and... Uh, woman need me! Of course, Steel. I'll put the warning out and try and get assistance. Thank you, sir! Just like the old days, Is it, Radar? What have you found? I hope you know where you're going, Radar! <coughs> Hello, Helen. Afternoon, Elvis. What a clever dog! You deserve a medal! Oh, even Radar's going to get a medal before me. Uh, come on, let's get you down, Helen. We'd better get out of here. I wonder who set such an irresponsible trap. Fire! 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 I want to go home! Calm oh, down, oh, everyone. We must oh, only fire. take we're, we're what we need, like oh, what, no. and keep together. Does that mean Mr Evans has got to leave his ukulele behind? Marjorie stays with me. Come on, everyone, follow me. Do you think you started the fire? What do you mean, me? It takes two to sizzle a sausage, you know. <coughs> Where's this smoke coming from? Cover your mouth to stop you breathing it in. Hi, Sam. I've got Helen and Mandy with me. Good work, Elvis. Any sign of the pioneers? No, not yet. There's smoke everywhere, Sam. I know, Elvis. You'd better find them quickly. They could be in danger. There's a fire spreading from the centre of the forest. We've got to get everyone out. I'll keep looking. Over and out. Trevor! Dillis! Norman! Dillis! Dillis! <coughs> Have you got a scent, boy? Oh. Trevor! James! Come on! Come on! Open, will you? Yes! Oh, I better call the fire station. Hello? L there's a fire! A, a 
forest fire! It, yes, the whole brigade are dealing with it now, but they're going to need all the help they can get up there. Right, I'm on my way! It looks like this fire has really taken. We better get the hoses ready. Hi, Sam. Uh, this is looking bad. Uh, I can see the fire spreading in all directions. Can you drop water on it to slow it down? Will do, Sam. Uh, but this place is so dry, it's not going to put it out. We've got to try, Tom. Come on, Storm. This way, we need you now. Again, no. We are, we are the Ponty <laughs> Pandy Pioneers. <laughs> With nothing to eat, not even broccoli spears. <laughs> so dry your eyes, it's the season time for tears. <laughs> <laughs> We're the gentle Ponty Pandy Pioneers. Uh, Dillis, I, I just wanted to thank you for helping out. Oh, it's the mother in me. I don't think I'm actually cut out for the survival log. Of course you are, Trev. You're a proper inspiration. I am? Well, I think this calls for another rousing song. No! I mean, no. Save you a strength, Trev. <laughs> oh, right ho, Dillis. Sarah, I'm scared. Me too. Thanks, sis. Anyway, we don't know for sure it was us who started the fire. <coughs> so how was it Auntie Dillis smelled sausages? I don't know. Get off! Get your nose out of my bag! <coughs> Norman, I think he can smell our other sausages. Hey? Oh, Elvis. Oh, there you all are. Is everyone OK? I think so. <coughs> We've got to get out of here fast. Which way? I don't know. It all looks the same in this smoke. Um, Elvis to Sam, can you hear me? OK, Elvis. Can you see what direction the smoke is coming from? It's all around us, Sam. Hey, is that a siren I can hear? Yes, Station Officer Steele's just arrived. Sir, leave the siren on. Oh, 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 OK, Sam! Follow the noise of the siren, Elvis. It will lead you to safety. Great idea, Sam. Over and out. Come on, Elvis. You can do it. Elvis is with them now. They're following the noise of the siren. Come on, Cridlington. Where are you? <coughs> We're getting nearer. I can hear it. Uh, keep up at the back. <coughs> Oh, good boy! Well oh. done, Radar! Mandy! <laughs> <laughs> Helen! Oh, am I glad to see you too! Well done, Cridlington. You're a credit to the force. I shall remember what you've done today. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's Tom with the water. OK, Tom, the forest's clear. Thanks, Sam. Fingers crossed, everyone. Let's hope this works. I'm sorry, guys. The fire's really taken. Uh, I'll keep dampening it down, but that forest is just too dry. The fire! 
Bear is heading straight for us, Sam. Which means it's heading straight for Ponty Pandy. I think we'd better let everyone know the worst, sir. Yes, I think you're right, Sam. Can I have everyone's attention? Good people of Ponty Pandy, as you are all aware, we are under great threat. If the predicted storm doesn't hit soon and quell the fire, then I'm afraid we must evacuate the town. What? <gasps> Leave Ponty Pandy? What about my shop and my cafe? What about reinforcements? Surely other fire engines will come? What about the new rapid response service in Newtown? Everyone's at full stretch. The fire spread right along the coast. So we're on our own? I'm afraid so. Then count me in. I'll help fight this fire. Count me in as well? Not without me, Trey. And me. Me too. I'm with you, Lum. Very well. <laughs> You are all officially volunteer firemen and, and uh, women. Your town needs you like it's never needed you before. Oh, you can, you count, can count on us too. That's very brave of you, but this is a job for the grown-ups. Sorry, boys. Aww. The rest of you, you can use those beaters to flatten the grass down at the edge of the forest while we damp it down. No problem, Sam. But please keep a safe distance. If we can cut off the fire's fuel supply and keep the heat down with the hoses, we may just stop it in its tracks. But what we really need is rain, and lots of it. And that storm looks like our only hope. Just hold it back, Penny. I don't know, Elvis, but it's all we can do right now. It's coming. Back, everyone! Behind the fire engines! Quick as you can! Hold your positions! Look out, Sam! Uh, Whoa. Whoa. Uh, are you OK, Sam? Well done, young Fridlington! I won't forget that! Thanks, Elvis. You saved my life. I told you your time would come. Retreat, everyone! Back to the fire station to pick up Chief Fire Officer Voice! Then down to the harbour! This fire is out of control! You were right. I just did it without thinking. Sign of a true hero, Elvis. I'll get Chief Fire Officer Boy, sir. I'll come with you, Sam. I want to take a last look. <sighs> I'm sorry, Ponty Pandy, but we tried everything we could. It's time to go, Norris. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Of course it is. <laughs> OK, <laughs> let's go. We'll rendezvous at the quay. Who 
shop. And I just cleaned the windows, too. James, check. Why are we going out to see that? It's the one place this fire can't reach us, James. Sarah and Bronwyn. Oh, yes, and I am the cat, check. Did you think we'd leave you behind, Lion? What about Wooly? <laughs> Goodbye, Radar. Radar? Uh, Wooly and her lamb, check. Lamikins? Uh, yes, oh, sorry, yes. Lamikin. Well, goodbye, Ponty Pandy. Oh. Oh. What? Look! Can you feel it? Rain! Talk to Sam! Talk to Sam! The fire's going out! The rain's done it, mate! Fantastic news, Tom! See you later! Out! <laughs> Seaweed was right, didn't I? Yes, you did. Dance, madam. Go on, you old smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> What on earth's that? Sausages? I think we're the ones who need saving now. <gasps> so that's why you could smell sausages. Are you cooking in the bushes, Norman? You made a campfire? Oh, Norman Price, you've done it this time. Right, where's your mother? I'll make sure he is properly dealt with at home, Station Officer Steele. You naughty boy! Well done, Fireman Sam. You kept those flames at bay until the rain came. Quite a job. Thank you, sir. But it was a team effort. Oh, quite, quite. So, uh, have you come to a decision about the new job? Yes, I have, sir. Here you are. Well... I think you've made the right decision, Sam. It's a month to the day since the great fire of Ponty Pandy, when so much was achieved by so few. But one fireman stood out with not one, but two acts of selfless bravery. <laughs> Firstly, leading the good people of Ponty Pandy out of the burning forest to safety, and secondly, saving the life of a fellow fireman all above and beyond the call of duty. Hear, hear! So, would our hero please step forward? Oh, it's me. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Well done, Elvis. Oh, thank you, sir. And it gives me great pleasure in presenting the Ponty Pandy Pioneers with their survival awards. Well, not all the pioneers. Where's my medal? This is all your fault. What did I do? You started the fire. Well, you wanted sausages too. Look, Dad, my survival 
Royal Award. Oh, well done, love. Ah, Mike, I was wondering if you could uh, give my bus a quick respray. Of course. Uh... Sorry, Trevor, it'll have to wait. I'm going on a picnic with Mandy and Ellen. You are? Yes. It's about time we spent a bit of time together. Did I see Sam with a contract, sir? I hope you weren't trying to entice him away from Ponty Pandy. <laughs> uh, well, Norris, I don't think anyone could ever do that. No, Sam would never leave Ponty Pandy. So, what made you change your mind about the job, Sam? I learnt a lot during the Great Fire, Elvis. I nearly lost Ponty Pandy in that fire. So I'm not going to lose it now. Hey, Elvis, how about a sing-song? <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Sam is always there when they 